And our correspondent, Joseph Johnson, is with me in the studio to tell us more on Jitex 2020. Hello, Joseph. Welcome Hello. back home. Yeah, thank you, Tessie. And how was Dubai? <laughs> Great. So fantastic. All right. You attended the 2020 Jitex. Can you mm -hmm. tell us, how was it like? Uh, talking about the event? Yeah, the experience. Uh, well, um, a golf information technology exhibition as Jitex. Uh, has always been a veritable platform where young innovators reimagine the future by coming up with crazy ideas, you know, showcasing their talents, you know, coming up with disruptive technology, which become what we now term as um, emerging technologies, mm -hmm. you know, pitching their ideas across a cluster of uh, you know, exciting and, of course, uh, healthy competitions. This year's event uh, was actually the 40th anniversary of the show mm -hmm. and uh, it was relatively a special edition because of the times we live in. I was talking about coronavirus yeah, pandemic um, and uh, I understand that Nigeria and some countries of the world are at the verge of experiencing the second wave of uh, COVID-19. In fact, the PTF confirmed that Nigeria has entered into the second wave mm -hmm. of uh, COVID-19. So that ultimately, to a large extent, affected okay, yeah. and influenced uh, JITEX 2020 because it opened with um, a plethora of uh, pre to post you know, COVID-19 technologies or solutions, if you like. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a spectacle of innovations. Wow. You know, if you're there, if you, if you walk into the you know, World Trade Center, that's the feeling you get. Okay. Uh, talking about spectacle of events, 10 Nigerians, you, in your report, you said uh, participated in the startups. Yes. What does this portend for Nigeria? Uh, well, um, that's a very good question, Tessie. Okay. You see, Nigerian startups, like I said in my report, uh, couldn't pitch okay. you know, in uh, this year's edition of uh, JITEX because of coronavirus pandemic, yeah. so they didn't slog it out with their, their counterparts. Okay. Even the minister you know, couldn't help but uh, express a little bit of surprise you know, to the fact that the event you know, showed that many countries of the world did not go to sleep during the lockdown. They were apparently you know, cooking up stuff they were, you know, working on their projects, their ideas. Yeah. So that itself was an eye opener. Okay. And he expressed optimism that uh, come next year, okay. it's going to be a rebound for Nigeria. Okay. Okay. And uh, apart from that, you know, uh, he did mention that he will be finalizing talks with the FCT minister to transform Abuja to a smart city. Okay. All right, and of if you're aware that the ministry has been training lots of uh, young startups, you know, young Nigerians on different digital skills, and in fact, they are placing premium on skills rather than um, uh, certificates. Okay. So we'll be seeing um, it, it. It actually benefited Nigeria in more ways than one. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, take, take, take for example, or uh, technology transfer. Yeah. You see. The young startups were exposed to, uh, what should I say? They were exposed to a, a, a crisscross of uh, yeah. insight sharing on 5G, on blockchain, oh. on uh, future mobility, on uh, plenty of them. AI, that's artificial intelligence. Yeah. And recall that the ministry recently uh, inaugurated the National Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. So it, it's, it's an enormous, you know, Benefit. It okay. it cannot be overemphasized. And like the DJ of Nida, uh, Kashifu Inua said, innovation happens when you explore and exploit. Sure, sure. So that ultimately played out there okay. because uh, our young startups were exposed to all all other other innovations, and so they learned, they, they know, they shared, they married some ideas and all that. So it's it's so it's. Yes, we are it hoping was quite that beneficial. You take advantage of the exposure and uh, all the experiences gathered, you know, to yes. do something positive. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next year is is, is the, it's, it's going to be a rebound. Okay. It, 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 it's it's something that the minister is you know taking advantage of, mm -hmm. and in fact, um, he did a pretty fantastic job at wooing investors okay. because that was another um, opportunity to sure. sell Nigeria. So it benefited Nigeria in, in, in that instance because okay. it, it allowed him to, you know, put out Nigeria and, uh, you know, 
uh, tell them from geographical advantage, population, you know, in innovative youth in the country. This, these were the opportunities, you know, he had right. to okay. sell Nigeria. And okay. I, I, let me reiterate that okay. the platform you know, also, you know, ensures that most ICT businesses thrive. Okay. So this, among other benefits. Okay. You uh, mentioned uh, you dwelt so much on how COVID-19 affected so many things. Yes. Tell us, did you feel safe, you know, while there? <laughs> <laughs> how was the safety measures? Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, that, I believe, was the worry of uh, participants okay. uh, prior to the events, including myself. Sure. <laughs> but after a careful, I, I, I took out time to read mm -hmm. their safety measures plans. Mm -hmm. And after just opposing them with what I met on ground on arrival, I can confidently, without a doubt, say okay. that uh, measures were put in place to ensure you know, people are safe from compulsory wearing of face masks. Okay, and you know, all that. Uh, yeah, sani hand, hand sanitizers at designated points, contactless uh, temperature checks, and, and plenty more. All right, uh, Joseph, quickly, any projections, you know, for the next exhibition? Yes, indeed. Uh, um, like I said, uh, despite the fact that uh, coronavirus didn't allow... Um, uh, start up to pitch, yeah. but the minister is looking forward to having a rebound next year. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of activities taking place already uh, in the country, and of course, you know that uh, uh, the, the 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 focus is to have a digital Nigeria come sure. 2030. Yeah. And uh, you know, the ICT sector has contributed immensely to the GDP. In fact, the NBS uh, in the second quarter of 2020 uh, report. Uh, indicated that uh, the ICT sector contributed uh, above 17 okay. percent, you know, to the nation's GDP. So right. uh, the minister is, is looking at taking it up a notch, a okay. notch higher, right. you know. So the 2021, uh, there are so many, like the AI, um, artificial intelligence uh, okay. uh, national center. We are, uh, we are going to be seeing uh, lots of our youth being trained on all of these and areas. More and more and of then, our, of course, yes, uh, we're looking forward to having sector. good Thank stuff. Thank you so much, Joseph, for startups. sharing your experience and your thoughts with us. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All Thank right. you very much. That's it. <laughs>